Do our words even matter? You see, words are powerful spells that can literally change your reality. In this video, I'm going to shine a light on what you're really speaking into existence through etymology. What is etymology? Etymology is the study of the origin of words and the way in which their meanings have changed throughout history or his story. The English language has many hidden and secret spells in which you can use to empower or disempower yourself with. One of the first things they teach us at school is how to read and write. In order for us to be able to read and write, we have to learn skills such as spelling and grammar. Grammar is based off the old French word grimoire, which means magic book of spells. The alphabet is just symbols put in different sequences that create spells. When creating sentences, you are sentencing someone to your spell. A sentence is to give someone a term. With every word you speak, you are literally casting a spell. A curse of cursive serving like a prison term. It takes real eyes to realize the real lies of how our words can be as deadly as swords. So if you want to know what a word truly means, look below its surface, dissect it, and look at it from many different angles. Words can be viewed forwards, backwards, phonetically, etymologically, with numerology, and split to arrange different anagrams. All languages are a single confused babble mixing different grammatical and phonetic fractals. In other words, words are vibrations. Words have power. Words can change your reality. Words can make or break you. That's why they say that even though your tongue has no bones, it is strong enough to break a heart. So be careful with the words you speak to yourself and others. Understanding etymology and word spells can help you to spell without cursing yourself and others. Notice how I said understand and not understand. To understand means to stand under one's authority. No one stands above or below you, me or anyone. To understand is to stand from within. You see, the basic tool for manipulation of reality is the manipulation of words. If you can control the meaning of the words, you can control the people who must use the words. To give you an example, when you are purchasing a property, you have to sign a contract with your lawyer. Even though the terms and conditions are written in English, it can seem like gibberish to most. This is because it is written in legalese format to confuse those that are signing the contract. It's all just a manipulation on linguistics and that is the con. A con is to deceive someone by lying or tricking them into believing something. The word mortgage is derived from the old French word which means death pledge. That's why it takes you approximately 30 years to pay it off. About the same amount of time for someone that has been sentenced to life imprisonment. And I wonder why so many people call this world we live in the Matrix or Mars Tricks, the Mother's Tricks. In order for the trick to be played, one must tune into their television tells lies to your vision. That's why it's called a television program, because your subconscious mind is being programmed. The question is, what sort of information is your mind being programmed with? So for most people that want to stay informed with the latest news, they tune into their favorite news channel 
and watch the latest broadcast of those casting abroad to cast their spells. To channel is to tune into a certain frequency and channel their favorite programs. To make channeling easier, they created the remote control so they could control you remotely. In Hollywood, they call it movie magic. After watching your favorite programs or movies, you have the option to see the movie cast. If we look at the term Hollywood, it actually derives from the holly tree. The holly tree was used by druids who were known for being priests, witches, and also wizards who used its branches to craft their magic wands for casting spells in ancient times. These rituals still go on today. Hollywood movies are forms of sorcery using psychology, subliminal messages, and manifestation through what is called lesser magic and bewitchment. Some even use the term law of attraction. That's why actors and actresses use scripts and movies as they speak things into existence. Even the news reporters are reading scripts as they broadcast their latest information from around the world or from your local government. They are all just actors and actresses playing their role in programming you, whether they are conscious of this knowledge or not.